All right, Alex, what are you looking forward to this upcoming season? First, like we're just I'm looking forward to like just being able to get out on the field and play because of COVID, you know, like we weren't able to get finish our season last season. So most importantly, getting out there to play, um, especially with like our new talent that we got. We got a lot of new guys coming in, um, a lot of returners, too. So we're excited to just get out there and start playing. All right, you're entering your third season here at LMU. What is your approach to this year as opposed to others? I mean, of course, this year is a little bit different just because of like the COVID stuff. So this year, um, going to my third year, uh, I'm looking to get my name out there, especially. Um, like I've gotten playing time in the past, but this year, like I'm hoping for to get out there and play more, hopefully get my name out there to potential scouts and stuff. And what are your expectations for this upcoming season? Expectations. Uh, so my expectations for this season are going to be our main goal as a team is to win a super regional because it's never been done before at LMU history. We want to win that, get to the College World Series, and go from there. And then with last season being cut short, how excited are you to get back on the field to compete? I'm very excited. Yeah, um, yeah. I wasn't able to play over summer. I was injured, unfortunately, but. So yeah, now since we're up and going again, I'm really excited to get back out there. All right, and finally, being a veteran leader on this program, what is your approach with the new guys to get them up to speed? Well, it was very important, uh, especially this fall, we were able to practice on campus, like on the field. So all the new guys, they were able to come out and practice with us and we got to show them how our culture is, how everything works. So that was very important, especially for the new guys. Perfect. Thanks, Alex. Yep. Coach, with the season around the corner, how are we feeling? And is there anything you are doing different going into this year and going into year two compared to your approach from last year? Yeah, you know, last year we were getting ready for our first year together as a coaching staff. This year we're dealing with COVID. So <laughs> obviously a little bit different, um, but uh, excited to get going. So we got everybody back and get ready to go. And can you talk about what you have worked on during fall ball? You know, I think the biggest thing, was for our guys getting to know each other and having some chemistry. You know, I believe we have 17, 18 new players. So I think it was really important that our new guys got to meet our, our older guys and kind of, you know, learn our culture. And, and so that was the big point of emphasis. Looking not too far ahead, how is the conference outlook and competition for this year in the WCC? You know, the WCC is always good. Um, you know, I think we're improved because we have a lot of seniors back that came back from last year, but every team has that. So um, the WCC is, an underrated conference on the on the West Coast, and so it'll be good again. You'll be have the usual suspects against San Diego, Gonzaga, BYU, Pepperdine, San Francisco. Everybody in the conference is good. So, and then in closing, Coach, do you have any final words? Yeah, I think the key for this year's team is to deal with some adversity and stay positive. I think the teams and the programs that can do that um, as obstacles come. I think those teams are going to have the best chance of being successful. So excited. I'm really excited what our guys have done so far. I'm excited to start playing some games again. It's been a long time.